Greetings, everyone. My name is Maya Lynn, a fourth year business administration student from Miami, Florida. And for journal article two, we are talking about ethics and global business. So for my article, we are talking about open AI, which as you know, is ChatGBT. And there's a lot of questions surrounding ChatGBT and just basically talking about how if they're being fair and transparent and if they're doing and following ethical data regulations in the AI industry. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick little video of ethical AI and understanding what that is before I dive in more. I'm John Sujanja. I'm the director and founder of AI Ethics Lab and I'm a philosopher and I'm here to explain what is an ethical artificial intelligence. At this point, we are inter interacting with the AI all the time because we have our cell phones loaded with AI systems like your maps, your search engines, your emails, the, the social media, all of those use some sort of AI systems and there are those that you are not really aware of that, are, uh, that you are being subject to. We make all of our decisions based on the information that we have and what kind of information you can access. If you are shown only options that the system finds fitting for you, that means that there are a whole bunch of other options that you are not even aware of. So you are being sort of stuck and pigeonholed in this, in this particular uh, circumstances that some sort of AI system decided that's who you are. But you really need um, people who, who know how to deal with ethical um, puzzles collaborate with people who are doing these um, products and projects. So it has to be collaborative. Um, even for the regulations, it has to be collaborative so that those who want to regulate know what they are regulating and do it correctly and well. Because otherwise you will have companies who want to do the right thing competing with companies who don't care. If we care about the well-being of us, ourselves, then it's important that we have ethical AI. So there are three big ethical concerns with artificial intelligence. Uh, the first one involves what we actually use artificial intelligence for. Normally when we develop AI you know, in the lab, we're developing it for reasons uh, we think are good. So we're using video tracking of people in healthcare settings to make sure they're recovering from an injury or something like that. But the same technology can be taken out and put into smart bombs to track people or be used by governments to track their citizens as they, as they move around, which is sort of an Orwellian spooky future which we may not necessarily agree with. So we need to figure out when we're developing these AI algorithms, what are the potential outcomes that we don't necessarily expect. The second ethical concern with AI has to do with who has access to AI. Increasingly, AI has to run on bigger and faster and more expensive machines, and the only people who can afford those machines are these big international companies, which means that uh, fewer and fewer people actually can control the destiny of artificial intelligence. And we don't necessarily want that. We want all of us to kind of have a say in how AI will be used to benefit our society in the future. The third ethical concern that I see with artificial intelligence is that artificial intelligence doesn't exactly think the way that we do and it doesn't necessarily share our values. So the risk isn't that you know AI will be malicious against us, the risk is that AI will do exactly what we tell it to do and it'll do it in a way we don't expect. The so that video was just basically explaining how important it is that companies need to be ethically right when it comes to their data usage and the use of AI because you need trust and reputation for your consumers to be able to use your technology and be able to feel comfortable with using it without having to question whether they're being fair or transparent or if their data is being used for the wrong reasons. The more and more that companies prioritize their data practices, the more and more of a better reputation a company will have, the less legal compliance that that company will have, and just an overall better experience for the consumer base on that side as well. So going back to the article, um, there was a lot of controversy with the New York Times and OpenAI, and if eventually there was a lot of legal implications that happened. So right now, they're trying to see if they can settle a case or hoping that AI settles a case to use better ethical data practices moving forward because, again, there's a lot of controversy of uh, transparency and data usage within AI or ChatGPT. So on a positive note, we do have companies like Apple who are trying to be proactive about their ethical data usage. So Apple right now is trying to find an alternative for their data usage. They came up with a fair transparency licensing agreement with publishers so that instead of companies taking and secretly stealing data from our consumers, they can now um, ethically and transparently source their data throughout the company and with creators who are using their platform, which is really good because it makes the consumer trust the company and want to do or want to use their technologies and continue being with that company. Instead of companies like OpenAI and ChatGBT where consumers feel like their transparency is being diminished. 
So all in all, hopefully I OpenAI decides to settle their case and move forward with better ethical data practices. But with the rise of AI, who knows how far these uh, ethical data practices are gonna go.